Hey there, welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brains player too. Today we're going to look at another classic, Bioshock Infinite. If you haven't played it, pause this video and go play it. Go ahead, I'll wait. Back? Oh, great. Wasn't that good? And that twist at the end? Who saw that coming? Now, if you haven't played it, don't plan on playing it, and don't mind me spoiling it, then I'll just tell you the ending now. Throughout the entire game, you play as a character named Booker DeWitt, fighting to save a girl named Elizabeth from a floating dystopia controlled by a zealot named Zachary Comstock. By the end, we discover that Booker and Comstock are one and the same man. Their lives just went down different paths in different universes. Multiple universes are a great staple of sci-fi, but some physicists would argue that it's very possible they're real. There could even be multiple ways there could be multiple universes. But in Bioshock Infinite, they owe their existence to quantum mechanics. Developed as a way to explain the behavior of atoms, quantum mechanics has been described as the most successful scientific theory ever devised. But the subatomic world is a strange place. As Elizabeth puts it, There's a world of difference between what we see and what is. What is demands counterintuitive explanations. One of them is the idea that a particle can exist in every possible state at once until it is observed, a phenomenon called superposition. Schrodinger's famous thought experiment is an illustration of this, the one about a cat in a sealed box. Bioshock Infinite didn't have any cats in it, so for our intents and purposes, just imagine Lady Comstock here is the cat, and that it's alive. Anyway, the cat spends an hour in the box with poison that will be released if a Geiger counter picks up radioactive material that has a 50-50 chance of decaying. Because of superposition, the atoms will and will not decay. So, by extension, the cat will be both alive and dead simultaneously until it is observed. Fittingly, in Bioshock, Lady Comstock is both alive and dead simultaneously. Austrian physicist Erwin Schrödinger dreamed up the scenario to demonstrate how silly he thought the idea of superposition was. Nonetheless, experiments have shown that particles can exist in multiple states at once until we observe them. But then that raises a sticky problem what constitutes an observation. There's no mathematical way to define it, so there's no solid way of explaining why the other possible states should blink out and leave just one outcome. In 1954, a student at Princeton University named Hugh Everett proposed a radical solution. The other possibilities don't vanish. Everett's idea implies that there must be branching universes that split off every time there are multiple possible outcomes. There could be a version of you out there that received the opposite sex chromosome when you were conceived. Or you may have died already as the martyr for a glorious revolution. You could exist in a universe where a coin flip kept coming up heads even if you flipped it 123 times, because by Everett's hypothesis, that universe has to exist. And of course, if you made an important life-changing decision in this universe, then in another branch, another you made the opposite choice. In one other universe, DeWitt accepts a baptism and becomes Comstock. In another, he rejects it and has a daughter. The game even spoils this early on in a recording of Comstock that says, Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed onto the eyes of man. You catch the superposition reference? Unfortunately, unlike in Bioshock Infinite, there's no conceivable way to access these other universes, so Everett's idea remains untestable. Scientists who oppose it argue that if it can't be tested, it's no longer science, but philosophy. Which do you think it is? Does it really matter? After all, when you made up your mind that it was one, you could have created another you that decided it was the other. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe. Go ahead and leave a comment with any games or ideas you want us to explore, and don't forget to keep on playing.